Okay, today, biblical truth of our hymns. Hark the herald angels sing. Glory to the newborn king. So, written by Charles and, and yeah, Charles Wesley and George Whitfield. The music by Felix Mendelssohn and William H. Cummings. The Christmas Carol that first appeared in 1739 in a collection of hymns and sacred poems have been, been written by Charles Wesley. Right, some of this is going to be German. Wesley's original opening couplet is Hark how all the Welkin, W-E-L-K-I-N, rings. Glory to the King of Kings. The popular version is the result of alter, alterizations by various hands, notable by Wesley's co-worker George Whitfield, who changed the opening couplet to the familiar one, and by Felix Mendelssohn, M-E-N-D-E-L-S-S-O-H-N, composed a cantata to commemorate Johann Gutenberg's invention of the printing press. And it is music from the cantana, adapted by the English musician William H. Cummings, to fit the lyrics of Hark the Herald Angels Sing, that propels the carol known today. The original hymn was composed as a hymn for Christmas Day by Charles Wesley, including in the 1739 John Wesley collection of hymns and sacred poems. This was changed to the familiar Hark the Herald Angels Sing by George Whitfield in his 1754 collection of hymns for social worship. A second change was made in 1782, the publication of Tate and Brandy new version of the Psalms of David. In this work, Whitfield's adapt adaptation of Wesley's hymn appears with the repetition of the opening line, Hark the herald angels sing glory to the newborn king at the end of each stanza and is commonly sung today. Wesley, joyful all ye nations, rise, join the triumph in the sky. Universal nature says Christ the Lord is born today. Christmas is not Jesus' birthday. And this hymn was written for Christmas, as I said before. Uh, it was written as a Christmas carol, but Christ was not born on Christmas Day. Now you need to check my videos and the audio, should a Christian observe Christmas. Now, great works are from the Wesleys. Great works with Susanna Wesley. But... The hymnals are not inspired by God and have and contain errors, unlike the King James Bible. And when you pick up a hymnal, and too many people are angry with me, because when you pick up the hymnal, there are mistakes in the hymnal, and that's why I call this the biblical truth of our hymns. We need to realize that the hymns that we sing, some of them are wrong, some of them are right, now, I'm not going to completely bash Hark the Herald Angels Sing. It's much better than other hymns. But there is no Christmas. There is no Christ Mass. Or Mary's Christ Mass. Wesley, hail the heavenly Prince of Peace. Hail the Son of Righteousness. Light and life to all he brings. Risen with healing in his wings. Now Whitfield, hail the heaven-born Prince of Peace, hail the Son of Righteousness. And Wesley puts S-U-N, Whitfield put S-O-N. Now missing from my hymnal, because I've only got three. I've only got three stanzas. Number four is gone. And we're going to go through the three stanzas that I have, but shall I dare to mention the fourth stanza? Should I even, as we talked about the hymn the other day, last uh, study, that the, the third stanza is removed by Walt Disney? 
would even, I'm not even going to mention the company that came up with this hymnal that I hold, would they even dare get rid of the fourth stanza? Shall I dare to read it? Come, desire of nations, come. Somebody doesn't want Jesus Christ to come. Fix in us thy humble home. Get somebody that's in a home, home in heaven. I got a mansion. Rise the woman's conquering sea. I guess they're more for the serpent sea. Bruise in us the serpent's head. I guess they don't want Satan to be bruised. This stanza I am reading right now. Come desire of nations come. Fix in us thy humble home. Rise the woman's conquering seed. Bruise in us the serpent's head. I'm not done. It's not in this hymnal. And if it's not in this hymnal, it's probably not in other hymnals. Now display thy saving power. Why would you remove that? Ruin nature now restored. Genesis 3. The millennium. This stanza 4 focuses on the second coming of Jesus Christ and what he's going to bring. He's going to bring healing to the nation of Israel. He's going to conquer Satan. He's going to put Satan bound a thousand years. He's going to remove that curse off the earth except the serpent will still eat dust. Now in mystic union join thine and ours and ours and thine. So just remove the second advent. Remove what Jesus Christ is going to do. That's that's flawed. So I would say that the hymnal that I'm holding right now is flawed. Does not want the second coming of Jesus. It wants that cute little baby in a manger that we can control, but it's not going to the lion of the tribe of Judah. Judah, but that's not it. I said we got three stanzas. That's number four. Do you know there's a fifth stanza? I only got three. The fifth stanza, and if it's not in this hymnal, it's probably not in others. Probably not sung in a modern church, Adam's likeness. Second Adam. Lord. In face. Christ. God. Manifested in the flesh. The second Adam. Why would you remove that? Why would you remove the deity and the humanity of Jesus Christ, my Lord, God, and Savior? Why would you not have five stanzas? Oh, I bet you have the, the hymn, you know, I've seen the coming of the glory of the troops. <laughs> and not of God, and not of Jesus Christ, and not of heaven. You put that idiotic song in here. You put Roman Catholic songs in here, but you can't put what Jesus Christ is, the, the image of man, the image of Adam without sin. Stamp thy image in its place. Second Adam from above, why would you remove that? That is biblical. I'll say one thing about John Wesley. When he writes his hymns, he's got biblicalness in it. But there are errors. There are errors in a hymn book. It's not the Bible, but like I said, I'm not, I wouldn't throw this one in the garbage. And we'll look at it in a moment. Second Adam from above. Reinstate us in thy love. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son that the fact is that Jesus Christ came because he loves us. Let us thee, thou lost, regain thee thy life, the inner man, of to all thyself in part, formed in each believing heart. Why would you remove believing heart? Why would you remove that? Romans 10 and 9. John chapter 6. Multiple other places. Believing is essential for salvation. Now let's look at what stanzas I do have. Minus four and five. Hark the herald angels trouble. Angels are not singing in Luke chapter two. They are saying. So we have gone from a hymn that is first advent and second advent, and yet stanzas are removed to remove that second advent because the world can control a baby. And yet they forget that that baby grew up. 33 and a half years on that cross, he dies as a man. Behold the man. 
demand Christ Jesus. So I would take off that thing and I would put Hark the Herald Angels Say, Luke chapter 2. Glory to the newborn king, peace on earth and mercy mild. God and sinners reconciled. Scriptural. That's not bad. But have you gone over Genesis chapter 3 and see how much Satan spoke? And how much of it was a lie? And how much of it is the truth? Uh, do I dare put heart to hell angels as much as Satan? I do not. But there are churches and there are people in churches that when you when you raise a hymnal, you're raising the word of God. How dare you go against the hymns? Who burn in hell slightly? What for telling have I become your enemy because I tell you the truth? God and sinners reconciled complete. I'm surprised they didn't take stanza one out. That's a bold statement. God and sinners reconciled. I would believe you would not hear Hark the Herald Angels sing over the over the loudspeakers and songs today, especially the words. And I'm going to assume that many modern churches will not sing Hark the Herald Angels. But they'll sing other crap. They'll sing other junk. Joyful all ye nations rise. Join the triumph in the skies. We've gone from the first advent to the second advent. With that. With an angelic host proclaim Christ is born in Bethlehem. So not only was he born. Not only was he that baby in the manger. Not only is he the Lamb of God would take away the sins of the world. He's also the Lamb of God. Which is coming back. That baby's coming back. Grown. And angry. He may have been in an animal's stable. He may have been in an animal's barn. He may have been born in the trough where animals ate from. But he's coming back on horse. And he's born in Bethlehem. Hark the herald angels sing. Glory to the newborn king. Yeah we saw that was added. Christ by highest heaven adored. I bet you Jehovah Witnesses don't sing this, this hymn. Christ is not the highest. He's not heaven or door. He's, he's not God. Proclamation of uh, stanza two is that Christ is God and God is Jesus. Christ the everlasting Lord. Oh. I don't think this is sung at a kingdom hall. Late in thy uh, late in time, behold him come. Now, what's that mean? Look how many years it took Jesus to come from a from Adam. Look how many years it took from Abraham. God spoke to uh, uh, Eve. He said that seed is going to bring forth the holy seed. It's going to bring forth the Messiah. Abraham, out of your seed is going to be the chosen one. David, out of your seed is going to be the one that's going to sit on your throne, the King of Kings. And look how many years it took for Christ to be born in Bethlehem. And yet we're still waiting for Christ to come for his bride. And yet we're still waiting for the second advent of the Lord Jesus Christ. And to us, 6,000 years, Lord God, what's wrong with your watch? 1,000 years is one day, and one day is a 1,000 years. Each long suffering, not willing that any should perish. Offspring of the virgin's womb. Uh, uh, then we have a then we have a hymn back here. Let's see. Okay. Oh, we didn't do Silent Night, Holy Night. That, where's that other one? Oh, Beth, well, remember the other hymn we did the other the other time. All right. Silent night, holy. How do you know it was a silent night? Christ was born in a in a, in a stable. But the animals shut up. People, all the people are gathered together for the. I can't find it. Oh well, well, 
Oh, come on, wait a minute. Here we are again. Three. Alright, what, um, I can't think of what, what it was called. It's gotta be. It can't be Silent Night, is it? Maybe Silent Night. Shepherd Queen. Oh, it is Silent Night. We did do that. Oh, uh, where is that part in Silent Night? Written by the Roman Catholic. I'm looking for something here. Uh, it wasn't sound. It wasn't. A, but remember, we we looked at uh, him and it said "Virgin" capital V. And we looked at the scriptures. Nowhere, when it talks about that virgin, when it talks about Mary, when the prophecies of Isaiah seven fourteen, never does it capitalize the virgin. Mary's not a god. But to religion, she's a god. And when you capitalize the virgin, you're making her deity. Look over here. Hark the herald angels sing, glory to the newborn, capital K and king. That's God. Look, Christ, by highest heaven adored Christ, the everlasting, capital L, Lord. Offspring of the capital V, virgin's womb. I'd make that a small v. I'd change the angel say and that virgin to a small v. She's not a god. Veiled in flesh the Godhead see, Christ incarnate, God incarnate, hail the incarnate deity. Definitely will not be sung at the kingdom hall. This proclaims Jesus as God and God as Jesus. Please, as men with us to dwell, Jesus, our Emmanuel, God is with us. Kind of Jewish. Kind of Jewish. Be careful. Nowhere does it ever say, and I'm not telling them what Paul says, nails it down. I'm all 66 books of the Bible. Nowhere does Paul write to any of the churches and says, our Emmanuel, our Savior. Our Christ, our God, our Father, the Son, Emmanuel is in the Gospels. Gospels are for Jews. Only we start coming in the book of Acts, around Acts 8, to the Gentiles start coming. you got to be careful when you... It, oh, it sounds so great. But even Satan, again, Genesis 3, most of it was true. Only one little line. Thou shalt not surely die. Sing. Capital B. So what gives you the idea? What gives you the right to nitpick? I'm doing the scriptures. We can open up the Bible in Luke chapter 2 and you can see the angel said. We can open up Isaiah, which we did in the last one we did. We can see that the virgin is small b. We can do that. But I can open up the scriptures and show you Emmanuel and where it is in Jewish Hail the heaven-born Prince of Peace. Hail the Son, capital S-U-N, of Righteousness, that's Malachi. Whitfield changed it to S-O-N. Light and Life, John, the Gospel of John. To all he brings, risen with healing in his wings, that's Malachi. That's the second advent. I'm surprised they didn't throw this stanza out. Because we sure can't have God, Jesus Christ, outside the, the baby infant in, in, in the manger. We can't have him grown up. We can't have him with authority. And we sure can't have that baby mad at us. No. Mild he lays his glory by. Born that we no more may die. Amen. What must I do to be saved? Believe on the Lord Jesus Christ and thou shalt be saved. The wages of sin is death, but the gift of God's eternal life through Jesus Christ our Lord. He that has the Son has everlasting life. He that has not the Son shall not see life, but the wrath of God abiding upon him. Born to raise us from the earth. Born to give us second birth. He must be born again. Look at that scripture. 
more scripture than the other carols we've done, pretty much. And again, three and four are missing. Oh, uh, this one. Three and four are missing. Now, with a few little changes, like I said, I put this in the hymnal. I got an idea, my, you know, if the Lord opens up ministry to me, I got an idea I'm going to do, and I'm going to do that. But this would be one of the hymns in the list. I get scriptural proof. This the biblical truth of our hymns. They're not all going to be bad. I and mean, a lot of people think, okay, everyone he does, they're going, he's going to shoot them down. Huh? I'm only going to shoot down the truth. I mean, excuse me, I'm only going to shoot down... The, well, it's not the truth. And if it's not aligned with the Bible, it's not true. And the Bible says one thing, and anything else says the other, then you got to judge by the Bible. If the Bible says Jesus is the way, the truth, and the life, and man said, well, here's, well, not of works, least any man should boast. And this hymn, yeah, it's about the birth of Jesus Christ. It's put in the Christmas section as joy, uh, joy to the world. But joy to the world we've already looked at is written by Isaac Watts as second advent, not the first advent. We already see Hark the Herald Angels Sing written for the Christmas, and yet there is no Christmas. In the Bible, there's no celebration of Christmas. And it's also in celebration of the second coming of Jesus Christ. Though this one takes out four stanzas. <laughs> takes out the new birth, the reason of the new birth, the prophecy of the new birth, stanza number four. And, it, and what Jesus Christ is going to do at the second advent in the millennium, stanza four. And it takes out the incarnate of God in the flesh, stanza five. What would I do? I'd make those changes I mentioned, and I would add all five stanzas to this one. So this is a perfect hymn. 